we're going. Hey, what's up? It's the Eric and Carson show. I'm Eric. Let's just be honest with each other here. I'm sitting in a room by myself talking to myself, and I just, <laughs> I got you guys over there. Hi, how you doing? That's why I'm sitting in this chair, because I'm fucking terrified of like, you know. Hold on wait a second. Is this the new thing where you can control it? Let me see here. Uh, no, it's, yeah, because it, it's not affecting what's in the headphones. Let me try a different pair of headphones. This will be kind of fun. This is what I do. This is what makes me a professional. What? Okay. Okay, here's the funny thing, is I've turned on all of them, including the main, and I can still hear it in the headphones. <laughs> huh? It's so fucking loud. Oh, yeah, my God. So huh? Yeah, I, could, I could probably turn it down here. Yeah, dude, that is so fucking loud. That, like, that'll blow out my eardrums. Uh, so try it again. See if it works. Hello? It's still really loud. Um, yeah, but it's weird because uh, we uh, they have this new thing for us over here. It's this... Um, it's a volume control for the headphones and it, it might as well it's about as useful as that light that's not plugged in <laughs> I mean it's fucking like I seriously turned it all the way down and it's still loud as shit in the headphones okay, try, try, uh, try it now try it now I turned them down no I got this all the way I got these all the way turned down is this thing even on yeah it's on the green lights on the green lights on so it should be what's on. this plugged into um, this goes right for the under under to where the wire because I still have all the headphones completely turned down and I still hear stuff in the headphones okay let's see Turn this down here. This see? is so hilarious. Can you hear yourself now? Or is it too loud? Yeah, uh, I can't, dude. I, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, the headphones have, have not been affected at all by this. Okay, how's that? Uh, that's fine. Yeah, that's okay. fine. I'm not saying that's fine. I'm, all I'm saying is, is that there's no vol. The, these have absolutely nothing to do with the volume. Let me see here. Yeah, yeah. This has nothing to do with the headphone volume. Maybe it's this one over here. Find out. I'll just fuck up your whole studio. <laughs> Look at me again. Um, you, can play, you can play musical chairs today. Let's see here. Uh, let's see. And I can I can't and yet yeah okay these can be affected yeah a little bit all right there we go so you know what I'll fucking use these that's what I'll do you guys are gonna have a toy I'm gonna play with it and that's what it comes right down to all right there we go. oh look at this this is wonderful uh so hi yeah I basically have got to deal with the fact that I'm just in here you know completely talking to myself Carson today is sick for some reason I don't know it must be the AIDS that he got from the intravenous drugs and the Anal sex, uh, but he's. Uh, but right now I'm uh, just kind of. But I decided that I didn't want to. I didn't want to do like not do a show today, because I thought to myself, well, uh, for all the fucking people that you know might tune in, the one or two people is enough of a reason for me to fucking leave the house. So I'll do it, and I'll just come out here and I'll just kind of you know talk about shit for a little bit. Um, so I now have two fucking cats. Uh, that's been the new thing. Is my god, my my girlfriend has brought her cat, which is about a 50 fucking pound cat. This thing is fat as, as, as the day is long. Like, it's, this, it's a female cat that's got this big gut that drags on the ground. The cat could sweep up the fucking ground that it walks as it walks. Because it does actually hang to the ground. Now, what we, the progress we have made, the problem with her is, is that she's too fat to be able to jump very high. And I have a cat of my own, and he actually sits, he sleeps, I'm sorry, he eats off of the off the counter, because if I fucking put the cat food down, the dog will eat it. So I want, so the cat basically has to jump up onto a, onto a counter, so that way he can actually eat. Well, the problem is, is the girlfriend's cat can't jump up because it's two feet off the fucking ground, and anything above two feet, that can't even get into, because it's a big fat cat that can't move at all. So, but now we've actually started to make some progress, because now what she does is she actually, you know, uh, congratulations to my apartment complex, now uses her claws to climb up the fucking counter. <laughs> it's just actually, it's just, it's all I hear is just the fucking claws being sunk into the goddamn cabinets. It's hilarious. Uh, so and, and then every once in a while the cat's out there, so I'll just swing open the fucking you know refrigerator door and make her fall down. That's always kind of fun for me. But uh, yeah, so like that's that's the new development in my life is I basically have to deal with these two cats. And I have a cat uh, of my own, and the cat fight and my cat fights with her cat all the time. And my cat isn't completely fat, so it's uh, actually pretty funny because the other because the fat cat runs out of stamina quick. So it's basically just kind of like it starts like, Rah! and then like you hear just the beginning of a kitty fight, and then basically just the other cat just trying to get the fuck away like as quickly as possible, and that's it. That's all that ever happens. But it is funny. So that's ba that's basically what it's turned into. Is every time I ever hear like, it's kind of shit like that. I'm like, hey, kitty fight! I gotta watch this. Now, Joe said your cat bites. Yeah, my cat does bite, but the other cat has claws. So like, and actually, I've caught the uh, I've caught the uh, the one. Uh, actually digging her, her claws into my cat's neck. 
I mean, really fucking bad. I mean, but at the same time, you know, it's, it, you know, my cat's attack is kind of an attack cat. So he kind of goes for it. So I guess I'm okay with that, you know, at some, on some level. <laughs> anyway, so uh, let me see. What else has been going on? Basically, uh, the radio world is fucked. Uh, they're hiring absolutely no people whatsoever. Uh, and that's just kind of the situation as it is. So in the event that Carson and I are even going to be close to getting a job, it's not going to happen until at least 09, maybe even halfway through. So that's a hell of a lot of fun. We're going to try to figure that piece of shit out, but that's basically what it is. These radio companies have completely fucked themselves over. I can't believe what that, what's happened. It's basically turned into where they got themselves in a financial pickle, if you don't mind me using the hard words there, the real, the real offensive shit that I say that right there, um, they've gotten themselves into a bit of a bind, and, you know, credit-wise, because they had, because you know, you had that deal where Clear Channel was going out. I think if you read Rolling Stone or something like that, you saw what was going on. It was uh, Clear Channel goes out and buys every motherfucking radio station in the country, so that, so that, f therefore, they have all these different things, and they, um, you know, and obviously a lot of people talked about the homogenization of the product, which is true of where like you know every station sounds exactly the same as the other one. They only play like five or six songs. That has been happening since the, since the early '90s. Well, the the way that they did this is they bought all these radio stations on credit. Let's see where we're going here. Credit market collapses. Radio radio business in general collapses because all of these companies have basically their their entire business model has been based on. Uh, the stock price because they, that's what they were trying to do. So uh, now that their stock prices are now that there's no credit out there, and you know there's some question as to whether or not these people even own these radio stations. Uh, the problem is, is now we're all kind of freaked out, and basically everybody's under a dollar. So that's a whole a hell of a lot of fun. Even though the stock market's actually been doing a lot better the last couple of days. You seen that there, John? Well, yesterday, uh, yesterday it was like uh, 600 points to close. More. Yeah, it down. It was down 600 points yesterday because everybody was uh, everybody was surprised that there's a lot of people on unemployment. You know, funny thing about firing people is they tend to go on unemployment. Who knew? Who knew that that was going to happen? Just like GM too. I mean, uh, you know, they thought they were going to get uh, keep their market share. Yeah. When they got out of here, who the hell's buying their fucking product? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah who thinks that that? Well, I mean, I think that uh, I I wasn't watching it live because I because I downloaded Street Fighter Two. Uh, HD remix, but I, I didn't watch it live. But I un I understand that the the automakers are actually uh, were up on Capitol Hill today that were trying to they're presenting their plans as to how they were going to actually um, get everything going. Apparently Ford doesn't need anything because apparently Ford's got, sitting kind of pretty. I don't, I think that's probably because they got they got in, involved with Toyota and they were kind of part of that. And the European market's doing well. I had a friend mm. that lives in Europe and they said they're waiting for a delivery of a. Ford car because they're so high in demand. Over, the Ford cars? Over there, in, uh, over in Europe. Some of the uh, Ford cars in Europe. Well, see, there you go. And then and people won't even buy Daimler Chrysler. That's Daimler Benz. Way to go. Uh, that's interesting. But, you know, I think that's probably what. But so, yeah, Ford's doing okay. But apparently, GM. Now, this is unofficial. And it's not like anybody's going to come after me this is, if this is false. You know what? Fuck you. Go Google it for all I care. But apparently, uh, GM is going to actually. Uh, uh, just cut a lot of uh, the vast majority of their North American manufacturing. Just get rid of it all, and 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 they also and they want a buyout, a, a it's a several billion dollar bailout from the taxpayers so that they can give us all these job cuts. Well, isn't that fucking fantastic? I you know because let's give let's let's spend taxpayer money so we can get that so we can give people in in Colombia a great job. There you go. Let's let's get that done. What the fuck is going on? Are, are we not part of the North American Free Trade Agreement? If, if, if that's, the, that's the thing I've been kind of curious about. Exactly what what part of this uh, of this continent? You know, we are in North America. Why is it that NAFTA did nothing for us? Fair enough. All hey, right. I couldn't hear you in the headphones, by the way, but I could hear you throughout the door over here. I think, um, but yeah, yeah, it's 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 cra it's crazy what's what's been going on with these people, and I don't know. I I, I don't think that, uh, and I, I don't know. I don't I don't think it's a good thing for everybody if 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 we just give GM a bunch of money to make some job cuts. Basically, you're only making the wagon or uh, rich. But I did think it was a pretty nifty move that uh, the Ford dude said that he was going to work. Uh, the CEO of Ford, uh, I forget his fucking name. Some you know, it's a Boeing guy, I guess. I don't know. Um, he uh, he said he's gonna work for a buck next year. This is way to go, way to be sacrificing. Well, Lee Iacocca did that in the eighties. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he, he, these Chrysler bailed themselves out, and did something with it. Yes, they did, and so did uh, so did uh, Don Williamson, also for a buck. 
Fucking, how about, I love that, that what a, talk about what a pretentious thing. I will work only for a dollar. What's overtime? Two dollars? What the fuck? I mean, I mean, why don't you just say you're not going to have any, I'm not going to take any compensation, rather than fucking just do this stupid trick of like, I mean, how, do they, does he have to pay taxes on the dollar? That's what I wonder. How much does he get back? Really, I think there was a really good reason why they have to have the dollar. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like a token, yeah. They have to have it, they have to have a dollar. Yeah. That's fucking hilarious. They get 60 cents after taxes. <laughs> fucking whatever. Yeah, take your salary, go buy a Coke. It just seems like, it just, it just does seem a little strange to me. Why wouldn't you just make 20 grand like people that just get out of college and radio people? That's what I say. That's what I say. You know, people, fuck, 20, but yeah, 20 grand a year would be, would be amazing in the radio industry right now. It's crazy. Just, just not even that long ago that it was going to be that it was actually doing well, but now completely destroyed. Uh, so um, I'm excited. I just looked at my Netflix. Apparently, I'm getting a uh, the, my copy of of the life and work of Gonzo. Very nice, Hunter S. Thompson. Uh, the uh, the uh, uh, documentary on his life. Have you seen that yet? Yeah, I saw. Actually, I got Daedalus Press. You know, the uh, catalog for Daedalus Press. Uh -huh. They got that out there. I think it was uh, fifty-four dollars for that. that Holy much. shit! Yeah, but I'm I'm interested in getting it myself because he was nuts. I love that guy. I awesome. did the I did the Netflix. Actually, I was watching um, the uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, the movie. There's no way he is. I mean, I, granted, there's no way he did as many drugs as he does in that movie. But like, I mean, at the same time, like I, he was apparently a crazy motherfucker. Like, I, like I love reading the stories about how he would like seriously get a head full of acid in the middle and then go driving in the middle of the night and then turn off the goddamn headlights. Ugh. Are you, can you fucking imagine being in that car? It's just kind of like, all right, this man clearly doesn't give a shit. Way to go. Let's have some fun. I had a friend that dropped, uh, dropped seven hits of acid just before our math class, first hour back when I was in high school. Freaked his ass out. Teacher was all screwed up. The teacher was freaking out because he didn't know what was going on with the kid. Acid with, uh, acid with school was never a bad move for me. The only problem was is uh, I never really freaked out so bad. It, but the fucking lockers really drove me crazy. Like, cause those lockers, you don't realize it because you're just kind of hanging out with, you know, if you're if you're sober. But man, those lockers are are shut in every three seconds. And if you really allow that, to, if you allow that to take, yeah, that could take you for a bad turn. You gotta watch that. You gotta keep your hands on the. If if there's any children listening and you're doing acid in high school, just don't don't listen to those fucking uh, lockers and you'll be okay. You'll keep your hands around it, you know. <laughs> and if you start freaking out, just go home. Trust me. Get on a fucking Almond Brothers record and just ride that sucker out. That's what I say. <laughs> ride that bear. There's no. Way. Don't get caught in the riptide. Or you're gonna be in a lot of trouble. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, so I'm excited to see that movie. That'll be pretty cool. You like how I'm just kind of just going along like this? It's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get that collection. I think when I get some more money ahead, I like to get that collection. Well, I do the Netflix. I love that. I just, I just get. Uh, you know, I get two movies at a time. You know, it's fucking cheap as hell. This is the entire like collection of his stuff he did over years too. Right? Ooh. Yeah, this this what this is. So this would be. Uh, I think it's really interesting. I mean, outrageous. I get. It, I'll lend it to you, man. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The guy, the well, Hunter S. is obviously like. I mean, especially politically, the guy was very. Uh, uh, he's very, very. He was a savant almost for politics, and um, like the like the shit they did with the Hell is Angels and the stuff he did on the Nixon campaign. Um, that's some really inspired shit. And like, you know, obviously you, you wonder if any of that, any of his partying or whatever kind of held him back to some degree, you know, because this is a motherfucker that would wake up not with coffee, but with cocaine and just and, and, and you know, smoked like crazy. Those big those cigarettes. Out. And somehow he killed himself. The, the, all those drugs did not kill him. And that's the part where he was kind of... And he killed himself more or less because George W. Bush got reelected. And it's too bad, especially when you consider what's happened since. Like, the, like basically, Bush being humiliated for four straight years after that election. I think that uh, it's too bad that he killed himself because, really, the, the retribution did come back on the other side. You think Hunter S. Thompson and uh, Keith Richards are related? No. no, because I mean the drug, their ability to consume drugs like that, man. Well, I I think Hunter S was actually even more a lot. That's even crazier, because you see Keith Richards at least at some point had to keep himself somewhat you know coherent because he did have to play with the band. But fucking Hunter S. Thompson was always gone and gone very, very far. And like would send, th I mean, and, and, th and would send threatening uh, fucking letters that I would read to Tom Wolf. Is he leaving, by the way? If he's got to leave, then I got to move my car. Oh, okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. 
Um, what was I gonna? Where is that going? I I lost my train of thought. Is uh, you know what? We'll just kind of wrap this up kind of early because you know I just wanted to do something for the people that, that tuned in. You know. You got quite a few people in there too. So do I? Yeah. You got Fucking about, I. Twelve people, and they're not bored to tears yet. No, they're reacting to what you're saying, talking about their own stuff. So yeah, they're they're cool. No shit. Well, God bless you guys for listening. Uh, let's see. So I talked about the stupid cat. Talked about yeah, Joe just professes love for you. Oh, oh, Joe did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, see now Joe's a guy I know. So there we go. I love Joe. I saw he was online when because uh, uh, I was I was playing Street Fighter Two, uh, HD Remix, and uh, I saw that he was online on Xbox. So I was like, he oh. Also, a um, yeah, yeah, quote from uh, Barley Run says, Eric, you lazy bitch, stay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't fucking have anything to say. I'm going to sit in here and, I just, and I'm just going to kind of just, just you know, blather in. Uh, and then next thing I know, I'm revealing things I don't necessarily want to reveal uh, because th- I'm just basically talking to myself and just coming up with random shit to say. And fuck you, Barley. Of all fucking people that are going to call me lazy, that asshole is going to go off on me? What? Does he, oh, you're mad because he doesn't hook you up with food, right? That motherfucker hasn't <laughs> hasn't left that. He only leaves the house to see us. And like, and I swear to God, I really wish he would just stay home. That's. <laughs> and you haven't had a job in like what four years, Barley? Fucking fuck off. Seriously. Oh, here he is. Uh, for your iPhone, you porn man. Uh, Barley and Hops goes on to YouTube. All the time, and just finds these these videos. None of them. Now, I hope this one won't be funny, because I haven't seen a funny one yet. Let's see what do we got here. All right, Barley. Let's see what you've let's see what you've selected for me to watch. Hmm. Now it's on YouTube, so I know it's not people shitting into each other's mouths. So I have that going for me, which is nice. Even though I would like to see people shitting in each other's mouths, I think there's nothing funnier, especially. Only I porn. So this video is a demonstration on how only I porn dot com or only I porn dot net uh, works for the iPhone. Um, if you go to the Safari button, um, you go to the top and you type in only I porn dot com. Could this be any more boring? I'm fucking I, now. See, Barley, now I now I understand why you find this interesting. This is why this show must be fascinating to you because apparently, really, really boring shit somehow makes it onto your desktop every fucking day. Unbelievable. Thanks a lot, Barley. I really do appreciate that. Fucking die, okay? <laughs> God damn. Anyway, <laughs> he sent me that link, and that's uh, ugh. I guess it was porn on your iPhone, which to me would be kind of a strange thing anyway, because you can only use one hand, you know? I mean, I, I, could you imagine, I mean, how, what level of fucking of low are you going to get to? Well, you're laying on your back on the fucking couch and just kind of with your iPhone in your right hand, just cranking away. You're not laughing. Have you done it before? I understand, sir. Don't worry about it. Oh, okay. You can't on that phone? Well, you know, you can get those fun text messages where like people are going down on each other and it's just like basically two frames of like a person bouncing up and down like a drinking bird toy. I'm always so happy whenever I see those. I fucking hate those, those, uh, those, uh, uh, forwards that you get. You know, don't you hate those where you get the little pictures where somebody sends you shit? Nobody does that to you? Oh, you don't get, you don't get the text? No, I, I Smart man. Smart man. If you get the text things, man, it sucks. Because, like, you fucking get those little things every once in a while where people just, like, forward you shit, which is really bad when you're at your house by yourself and it's like, oh, I have a friend that wants to hang out. Oh, wait, no, I don't. Someone just sent me just some bullshit that I don't have to look at now. But the good news is because I, one of my favorite things about the iPhone, you don't get them. It just says someone sent you a multimedia message. Then you can go, that person can die. And then you fucking erase it and then it's over with. Mm. <laughs> anyway. Mm. Oh, let me do news. News is always fun. Yeah, because I really because this is this is a lot easier when you have other people. Barley here. says he loves you too, Eric. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right, you know, you know what, Barley, you're all right. You actually had the Eric and Carson show tattooed under your under your <laughs> arm. Who's laughing now, huh? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Hmm. I'm just doing the news, so I got to wait for it to load up. Oh wait, you guys have Wi-Fi down here, don't you? You do? Uh, we do have Wi-Fi, yeah. Well, God damn it. Yeah. And I have it, and I have the li- Wi-Fi turned off on this stupid thing. Uh, you want the you want the uh, the laptop that's been fixed? Oh really? Yeah. Not really. Right. I, uh, th- not today. I it, but the next time, absolutely. Okay. You know we when Car- put out, we just got it back the other day. So. Okay. Yeah. Well, when Carson gets feels better, I guess, if he comes back at all. 
And I'm, I'm going to have to figure out how to do shows by, on my own. Okay, big three would cut their salaries to $1 for a, for a bailout. Super. You know, even if they cut their sal- salaries to $1, I still think they get the, the private fucking plane. Which to me, I mean, is there anything cooler than have your own plane? I mean, seriously. Do, 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 do. Take, away, take away the fun of joining the Mile High Club because you have no real like risk involved. You own the place, like being in the bedroom. <laughs> you know, dude. I, I I have I like the Mile High Club is such a thing that I would never be involved in. I am such a complete pussy when it comes to flying. I can't fucking stand it. I've told it. I've told the story. I think even on the podcast before about how I got you know in a serious situation when I was a kid where I where I was in a plane that almost crashed over the Atlantic Ocean. So like ever since, uh, I don't fucking like to fly. At all. So, like, anytime, like, so I imagine if I was in the bathroom, I couldn't get it up. My dick would be so, it would be as limp as a cooked noodle. Nothing. I'd be fucking trying to just to get something going, and it would just be just this pathetic thing that we'd all laugh about. That's all it would be. Why can't you get it up? Because I'm scared. <laughs> uh, hey, how about Sarah Palin uh, being all over the TV? Jesus, you really thought you should be gone by now, huh? Huh? I mean, Jesus Christ, just craziness. Um, bipartisan coll- commission, well, no, WMD. Oh, how about this for the uh, bipartisan commission? Did you hear th- about this? Where they came out and they said that we're probably going to be attacked with weapons of mass destruction by terrorists in the next five years. Right. Why can't, you know, all right. You know, the thing I don't understand about this whole terrorism thing, you know, could we be attacked again? Possibly. But the idea that this that the 9-11 was just like this big fucking amazing thing that nobody could have ever predicted is bullshit. The reason why we got attacked on 9-11 is because we were a bunch of incompetents that got our pants pulled down. I mean, that's really all it was. Because you you look back to that time. There are people that believe it was such a fucking conspiracy. And the reason why the reason why I have a problem with conspiracy people uh, is because they they almost wanna they wanna believe that it was a conspiracy because they don't want to believe that anything was that sick. It makes them feel unsafe to some degree. That's what I really believe because people, it, you know, the idea that we were that open, like, um, you know, the uh, one conspiracy theory person that I got in a big argument with was saying to me, it was like, you know, keep in mind that we are the, we're like a fortress. I mean, we have the biggest military in the world. How could we possibly get attacked? Because we weren't paying attention. There, Look, I saw fucking Mike Tyson got brought down by Buster Douglas. Why? Because he was fucking lazy. And that's the same reason why the, why the terrorists attacked us, because I, all we were worried about was salad shooters and shoes with lights in them. And then all of a sudden we got attacked because we weren't paying attention. That's what it, that's what it came down to. We were a bunch of idiots that were that never thought that those Muslims would ever have a chance to take us down, and they did. And you know, and obviously people are still like, "Oh my God, it's gonna happen again! It's gonna happen again!" Well, the reason why is because we're not fucking vigilant now, are we? You know, every other country in the world's figured out how to deal with a border. How come we can't? How come we can't uh, screen the the, uh, the containers for for, uh, for for you know weapons of mass destruction? Why can't we do that? Nobody's ever come up with any fucking ex- explanation as to why. Uh, laziness. It's sure laziness. It's complete. Yeah, it's complete laziness. And but we are going to spend a shitload of money on a war for absolutely no fucking reason. And you know this idea that you know and apparently Al Qaeda is having trouble uh, you know uh, getting people you know to to join. Why? Because we because the nation that they're supposed to hate now has President Barack. Obama. Obama, Barack Hussein Obama, which sounds a lot like the names of the people that, that strapped the bombs on. That that, that one thing, and I actually, I've seen a lot of shit on this. Apparently, Al Qaeda cannot get anybody to join the fucking, to, cannot get anybody to join. He says it doesn't have much of a future plan for like for retirement. I mean, really, no. no, no, it doesn't. <laughs> oh, obviously, the health care plan is obviously, you know, pretty crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, strap a bomb to your chest. That's how we deal with colds around here. There you go. Look at that. Cold solved. Now pick up your stupid little little spleen. Put it back. <laughs> anyway, no, yeah, but that's uh, that's very cause to the point where actually the funny thing is they're strapping uh, bombs on retarded people. That's terrific, isn't it? That's uh, that's the. Wonder how many pennies you get hit with when the. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking uh, the explosion looks like a water balloon when their head goes off. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's terrible. Anyway, uh, yeah, but that's what they're doing now. That's 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 that's. I mean, to the point because Al Qaeda has a hell of a time, uh, you know, getting anybody to go with them. Uh, you know, they, they had this big attack in Mumbai, 
which would never happen in America. You know, I mean the the. Go ahead. People, too many people out there with guns to take the guy out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that you have the people, you have the you have armed citizens, and you have the armed armed police. They don't really, they're not used to uh, violent attacks like that in the, uh, you know, in those countries. I mean, they don't have. I mean, we have that fucking shit happens in schools for Christ's sakes. I mean, you know, one school shooting happens, and then we all get completely armed to the teeth. That's that's what we do in America. We're always terrified. We're scared of kids now. It's fun, you know. We're scared of kids. We're scared of terrorists. We're scared of black people. That's what we are in this country. It's a hell of a lot of fun. See, this is the problem with me just being on by myself. I just start just talking, and then I just say a bunch of shit like, this is why <laughs> that we're all just afraid of black people. <laughs> this is, th you know what? I have to cut this off. Hey, let's go to uh, stocks. Because <laughs> if I just continue to blather, I'm really going to really destroy, my, I'm gonna destroy w you know, what level career I have left, which is really not much whatsoever. You're supposed to say you're supposed to need to stay here and not go home and play his games, okay? Why? Because they don't, I don't know, they say stay here and not play your games. Fuck him. That's a, I, I'm leaving. That's what's happening. No, and then Sunshine saying, no, Eric, stay, and all that was in big letters. <laughs> if I stay, I'm, I'm just going to keep doing this, which is where I'm just blathering, and I just completely lose track, and you guys aren't going to just go, hey, uh, hey, cut that out over there. All right, uh, Dow Jones up 244 today. That's good. It was up higher before that earlier today, then it went down to 158 last time I looked, and now it's back up again. Okay. Uh, we're up to, let's see, region communications, 12 cents a share. Very nice. Uh, Citadel, 18 cents a share. Cumulus, 91 cents a share. Well, Cumulus is getting back up there into the dollar area, which sucks. But, hey, what are you going to do? What are you gonna do? I'm cheering them down, too. That's what I'm doing. Hmm? Which one, your, your uh, radio station, which one was that? Because region. They, they suck. They're yeah. 12 cents. 12 cents. Well, let's uh -huh. see, man. Everybody get together and buy the whole damn place. Out. That's uh, that's what we say every week. And uh, all, all you people, listen, that's what you do, people that, uh, that want me to, uh, don't want me to leave. You get get together and buy a radio company and then hire me, right. okay? That's what I need you to do. You work for, like, pretty good price, right? Absolutely. Dude, I, at this point, I'll mop floors. I don't fucking care. I, it's It's so awful out there. And by the way, really, really, it's, it brings a smile on my face when I drive through the east side state streets. Holy shit. I thought it looked depressing in the summer. <laughs> I mean, oh, my God. I was driving through out there. I couldn't believe it. Some of those, because what they've done is actually the, the houses are falling apart. Like, you've actually got, like, uh, there's not a single uh, uh, front of a house that isn't actually hanging off. It's really something to see. I was shocked. I lived, and, and the ice out there is fucking insane. I was dry, dude. I like, I, I, I had to slow down. I slid by the fucking uh, the house here like several different times. What's going on they out there? Put salt out here. We're not worth putting salt out for. Apparently it. not. It's it's a it's sheer ice out there. They plowed it. That's about all they'll do to it. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. I th I live in Grand Blanc. I really I like, and I swear to God, I up until I drove through the state streets down here, I thought that Hill Road should be shut down and there should be an investigation right. as far as how there is how how fucked up it is over there with all the with all the ice. But for some, but I come down here and, I'm, and apparently I'm getting the good stuff. Oh yeah, it's like this is a big skating rink. That's all this. It's is. all it's it's all ice out there. It's fucking it crazy. I couldn't believe it. Ugh. Anyway, what shows on after us today? After me? Today, um, actually, uh, nobody stay. Nobody up here today. Uh, so you'll just run this over and over yeah, again. Goes around, yep. Good. Well, that's good. I'm really glad that 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 the, the, my that the ramblings of a clearly half insane person are going to be <laughs> going over and over again on <laughs> FlintTalkRadio.com. Yep. Huh? <laughs> okay. All right. So what are they saying on there now? Okay. Read to me some of the feedback. Okay. Uh, they're talking, Brian, uh, Brian, uh, and, uh, Joe are talking about some stuff here, so I don't know if I could jump right in the middle of that. <laughs> um, I, I like this. The, this is where the audience talks amongst themselves. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah, it's like he says, oh, you're saying, I guess Joe's saying he's only lived five, five minutes from the station, so I guess he's got it easy in case it gets bad. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, about Joe, oh, Barlow, you're saying, Joe, I have to get out in about in two hours and drive in the shitty weather. Yeah, well, that that see the barley is actually it's terrific for him because like he's exactly like having those big bags of salt in the back of your truck. He is so fucking heavy; it probably breaks the ice. It actually like he's almost like those icebreaker ships that go through the Antarctic. He's he actually will split ice just like that, and he would take a glacier down. There's absolutely if if, if barley ever went up to a floating iceberg, I swear to God, all he'd be talking about is drowned penguins and 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 bears. You guys are friends, right? This is like you guys are friends. Or? I wouldn't go that far. I know who he is, oh. uh, but <laughs> 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 I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, like you know, if he died, I certainly wouldn't go to the funeral. But <laughs> he's. <laughs> <laughs> 
because he likes being insulted. Exactly. Well, you know, he's a nice he's he's a nice guy. That's a complete you know annoying person to have around. But it's okay. You know, <laughs> he does take the punches. All right, I'm gonna get out of here because I'm really gonna start saying things that I don't want to say. <laughs> All right, fair enough. It's uh, Carson will be back Thursday, and if not, I promise I'll do an hour by myself. Okay. It'll be a full hour. If I have to do the show by myself, it will be a full hour next time, I promise. Because I'll actually be prepared. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll write some notes. 